Former Dallas police officer Brian Reiser walked out of the county jail a free man. His release coming several hours after Dallas County Judge Audrey Moorhead ordered his release. There is no probable cause to bind the defendant over to the Dallas County Grand Jury. In court, we learned the Dallas County District Attorney's Office told police nearly two years ago there wasn't enough probable cause to arrest Reiser. From the stand, lead homicide detective Esteban Montenegro admitted to prosecutor Jason Fine that no new significant evidence had been gathered during that time. He was taken into custody this morning. The game changer, new police chief Eddie Garcia. Mr. Fine, you got to understand that you have a boss. I have a boss as well. I cannot speak for my boss, okay? When he was briefed, he made the decision. Garcia announced Riser's arrest March 4th on two counts of capital murder. Police obtained arrest warrants accusing Riser of hiring a hitman to kill Lisa Science and Albert Douglas. The case against Riser rested largely on the word of a convicted killer named Emmanuel Kilpatrick. People uh, hammered on uh, Chief Hall because Brian Riser was still working. Uh, and she said at that time, well, there wasn't enough evidence. Well, I think this hearing proved her correct. Fine and defense attorney Toby Shook took turns poking holes in the investigation during the three-hour hearing as Montenegro sought to defend it. Knowing what we know now, okay, even with a probable cause, I still feel he's got, there's enough probable cause there, okay? Testimony showed parts of what Kilpatrick claimed didn't match the timeline of cell phone and text message evidence. Montenegro also was asked about errors in the original warrants obtained against Riser. And the third error was a cut and paste error that I, that I didn't read. What he called the third error wrongly claimed Riser was in and around the area when the two victims were killed. That falsehood wasn't corrected for a month. Riser's wife, Ebony, wants an apology and an investigation of the investigation. The truth is finally coming out. And that's what we are here for, is the truth. Well, what we saw today in court was really, in many ways, nothing short of extraordinary. I don't think I've ever seen a, a prosecutor and a defense attorney team up on a detective the way we saw today. Uh, this afternoon, Dallas police issued a statement saying that they continue to investigate. Uh, they also said that they that the criminal justice system works the way it's supposed to. Back to you. Now, Tanya, we need to point out that the DA says this is not a closed case yet. What happens next? Well, presumably the Dallas Police Department uh, continues to investigate, uh, continues to try to find evidence. But, you know, I, I listened to three hours of testimony and right now there is a circumstantial case. They do not have direct evidence. Uh, a smoking gun, so to speak, connecting uh, Brian Riser to these killings.